it's Brookhaven Day. <laughs> I can't believe it's Brookhaven Day already tomorrow. I am so excited. I think it's the best holiday of the year. It's like the only day of the year I won't wear blue. Well, yeah, because we have to wear red, silly. I know, I know, but it's the only time I don't mind wearing something other than blue, silly. <laughs> well, duh, our matching red outfits are fire, and we're gonna win the bougie competition. There's a bougie competition this year? What? Why haven't I heard of this? Because it's not real silly. I'm just saying we're gonna be the bougiest ones there. Without a doubt. We'll be the last ones standing with our red outfits. Meanwhile... Please, don't suck my blood. I'll do anything. Vampires scare me. Hush, hush. We won't suck your blood. But you have no choice but to do as I say. Ah! Or else we will suck your blood. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hurt me. But you have to make sure I get lots of money and get to pick who lives. Fine, but you can't pick too many people. We're hungry and we've got to eat. Yes, we've got to eat, honey. It ain't easy up in those mountains. Big Mama got to have her fill. Ah, uh, I don't like her. She's scary. Honey, you need to relax. I got this. Let me handle it. It's taking too long. We should just suck his blood and destroy the whole city. Please, no, don't hurt me. I beg you. We can't kill them all at once, honey. We have to be patient, and Mr. Terrible Mayor Ronald Stump over here is going to help us. Tomorrow is the annual Brookhaven Day celebration. You can all attack at night where everyone is out celebrating or in their houses. But you can only attack the people wearing red. Sounds perfect to me. You're lucky. Ha ha ha, such a little wimp. One hour later. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Tomorrow is a big day for Brookhaven. If somehow you've forgotten what day it is, it's Brookhaven Day. I'm joined here by the best mayor ever and my really good friend, Mr. Ronald Stump. Hey there, Laura. Really good to be here. I just want to remind everyone to make sure and to not forget to wear their red outfit tomorrow night for Brookhaven Day celebration. Can't wait to see everybody there. I'll be sure to remember, and I'm sure everyone else will remember as well. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. The next day. Early, I have something to tell you. You look. What do you mean? What's going on? Do I look bad? You look like an absolute baddie. Do I really? Well, do I? That's a silly question. Of course you do, girly. Well, then that would make you a baddie too. I mean, we're wearing the same thing. Meanwhile. Come on, come on. Answer, darn it. Hello? My trusty lawyer, do not wear red tonight. Vampires are attacking the city of Brookhaven and they're sucking the blood of everyone wearing red. I made a deal with them to make sure my closest friends are safe. Is this some kind of joke? I'm dead serious. I emailed you a list of people. Tell them all. Jeez, that is a lot of work, Ronald. And it's a holiday today. Do you want me to phone up the vampires and make them suck your blood tonight? No, no. Okay. I'll do it. One eternity later. I hope this all goes to plan. I don't want to get my blood sucked dry and die. All oh, the pain and the horror. Hello? It's all done. Ooh, and everyone answered and you talked to everyone? Yes. A few moments later. I don't understand why you both care so much about that silly celebration. Yeah, it is so silly. Everyone cares about it. Yeah, it's Brookhaven Day. How could you not? It's the most celebrated holiday in Brookhaven. Yeah, I still don't really care for the celebration. Celebrations that revolve around family are better. But this could be a family celebration if you would just come. Yeah, we'll pass. Okay, boomer. Yeah, we're gonna stay home. So lame. Meanwhile. Ayla, how many times have I told you you can't wear the same thing as me? But this outfit is so cute. I know that, duh. I bought the same one and I'm wearing it right now. Bye, I'll go change. Moments later. Are you One hour later. My mom takes Brookhaven Day way too seriously. Like she made red colored food all day and made sure I was wearing red. Oh, you are such a mama's boy, Josh. You definitely loved it. I 
at least your mom is celebrating, unlike me and Sky's mom. You should be happy. Well, I guess I am pretty excited, but she makes it embarrassing. Hey, kids! Hey, Mr. Principal Man, sir. Yo! Howdy! I love the outfits. You kids remember to be safe tonight and not to get into any trouble. I promise. I'll keep these two hooligans out of trouble, Mr. Principal Man. Hey, we're all hooligans. I'm the brains, which means I'm the good one, and Josh is the mama's boy. Hey, I'm the mama's boy. I'm the rebel. No one can keep me out of trouble. <laughs> That's gonna be the funniest thing I've ever heard. Oh, Josh, you are no rebel. Yeah, he'd be a rebel if rebels were mama's boys. See you kids later, and make sure Josh gets home to his mommy. <laughs> hey, I'm so not a mama's boy. Whatever you say there, Josh. Exactly. Moments later. Ah, nothing is better than a scoop of ice cream. Make up your red outfits because something bad is gonna happen tonight. All those who wear red will die. This girl sounds crazy. I'll deal with this. Ma'am, you need to... Don't speak to me like that, you fool. I know things you guys don't. Oh, ah, my mommy! Listen to me, girls, and save yourselves before it's too late. That's it. I'm out of here, girly. Me too. You must save yourselves. You're coming with me. No, I'm not. I'm a human being. Non-negotiable. So no one's coming to save you now. You'll pay for this. Five minutes later. All right, get out. Ha ha ha, see you never. What on earth is going on? That was weird. Ah, I'm in red. The first kill is always the most fun. Uh-oh. Meanwhile. Oh no, Ayla, look, it's the loser brigade. What a pack of losers. How do you even leave the house without being embarrassed? Again. Yeah, what's your problem? Are you okay? Do you need help? Whatever, dweebs. See you later, losers. Yeah, see you later, losers. Later that night. Ah, life is good. I totally agree, girly. I definitely don't. Ah, mommy! Uh, what the heck is going on? Uh, are we dreaming, girly? No, you're not dreaming. Go get help! Ah! Let me suck your blood! Come on, Sky! We gotta get out of here! Ah! Good riddance! Ashley! Oh, what on earth is going on? Ashley, are you okay? Why are you kissing that ugly person? I thought you had better standards than that. Ah! Moments later. What do we even do? A few moments later. Oh, we could have find her anywhere. Let's go check the secret underground place in Brookhaven. The cameras will be able to find her. Moments later. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Please still be alive and be out there. Oh, the pain. <laughs> I love sucking blood. Uh-oh, not today. Yesterday. Hey there, how can I help you? Ah! Um, excuse me. Red. I can see that now. Phew, thank God. What on earth is going on, Sky? They're killing everyone, but they didn't kill Laura. Girly, do you not see what's going on? They're only attacking people who are wearing red. And Ronald Stump was the one who told everyone to make sure that they were wearing red. Okay, we'll put the camera on his house to see if he is wearing red. We can't. There's no access to his house. We have to go there ourselves. But first, we gotta change out of these clothes. A few moments later. All right, Sky, this is his house. Let's do this. We gotta save the town, rescue the crown, and defeat the frown. That made zero sense, girly. Whatever. Let's just go in there. Right here, girly. We can't let him see us. Sky, he's not wearing red. 
I had no choice. Their plan is to drink the blood of everyone who's wearing red, but at least I got to pick who lived, though, by telling certain people not to wear red, and I got lots of money. I can't believe he allowed this to happen. Meanwhile... Oh my gosh, it's you! I've been looking for you! So now you believe me? Yes! I have the perfect plan! Well, what are you waiting for? Fill us in! As soon as Ronald Stump falls asleep, we dress him in red and lead all the vampires to his house, lock the doors, and set the house on fire. One hour later. Time to get a taste of your own medicine. Later that night. Hey, vampires! Come and get some fresh blood! Yeah! the free fresh blood that you can get. I don't see any of them following us. Me neither, girly. Come on, we just gotta keep going. Moments later. Uh, why is there no vampires? This is so weird. I know, right? I don't like the feeling of this. We should go get that crazy old lady and then get the heck out of here. I agree. Uh, what's going on? I think we've been fooled. Some might even say betrayed. Yes, you have been stabbed in the back. I'm sorry, I made a deal with them so they wouldn't drink my blood. But good news for you guys is they like your style and they don't want to kill you. They're just going to turn you into vampires. Please, no, I'm begging you. We'll do anything. Don't worry, it's not that bad. The next day. I guess 